in this video we will see how to name an ester as a branch when we are naming organic molecules ester can appear as branches ester can also appear as principal functional groups but we will focus on uh, the situation when ester appear as a branch so ester can appear as branches as there are some functional groups which are more prior to ester and two of them are of course carboxylic acid and acid anhydrides they are kept um, higher in the priority sequence than ester so for carboxylic acid this is how carboxylic acid looks like this is acid anhydride and this is ester and the suffixes for them are uh, there are two suffixes for carboxylic acid depending upon whether the carbon is to be accounted in the suffix or not this carbon here if you account for this in the suffix section then you have to use carboxylic acid which is not done most commonly you used oic acid because this carbon is numbered in the main carbon chain okay and similarly you have two suffixes for acid anhydride and two suffixes for ester o8 and carboxylate Okay. I can give an example for this if you are, if it's not clear for the viewers. So let's uh, let's take an example of a carboxylic acid. Why these two suffixes are there? Um, how about let's take CH three C O O H. And this is one, and this is two. This is your principal functional group. But this carbon one and this carbon number two is accounted for in the main chain. So you you write ETH. And then there is no unsaturation in the chain, so ethan and then oic acid. This time I am using oic acid because this uh, carbon has already been accounted here in the eth part. I could have also written it, its name like I could have used this as carbon number one and this whole principal functional group I would use a suffix carboxylic acid. So then I would have written methane carboxylic acid right methane carboxylic acid because the carbon the main chain is of only one carbon so meth and there is no unsaturation so you add an a and then carboxylic acid this e has not been dropped here because there is no vowel next to it but here in the ethane i drop the e right which is a a very simple thing if you have two vowels coming together in the name then you will have to drop the last vowel anyways but methane carboxylic acid is not used for this uh, ethanoic acid uh, this name is not preferred for this acid but there are certain situations when this can get uh, important and uh, you will have to use carboxylic acid one such example is like when you have uh, uh, this cyclohexane and uh, this COOH attached to the cyclohexane ring then if you take the main chain here one then you will have to take this as a whole branch and uh, if you don't do that if you don't do that and if you name it like this um, you account for this carbon in the suffix section and you can then have one two three four five six uh, this six member carbon chain which is cyclic in nature so this way if you name it you will get cyclohexane carboxylic acid as the name and this way if you name then you will have to put this whole thing in the branch section and you will have to write methanoic acid methanoic acid and uh, with cyclohexyl branch cyclohexyl right cyclohexyl methanoic acid and cyclohexane carboxylic acid i think in this um, situation this is more preferred because sometimes you might have uh, yeah. some branches here then they will also be named very easily using these numbers one two three four five six right so there are certain situations of course when the second pre se second suffix with the carbon the suffix with the carbon uh, included can get uh, more practical Okay, so what are the prefixes for carboxylic acid and acid anhydrides and ester? For, so for carboxylic acid, it's carboxy, which is well known among students. But then these two here gets a little bit complicated. So I will not be dealing with acid anhydride in this video. I will be dealing with esters. Let's move forward. Ester can join as branch from two sides. Because ester, the 
ester group as you can see in these two examples you can very easily see this is an ester uh, group and this is now connected to the main chain the principal function group is this one right in this molecule the principal function group is this one the main carbon chain goes like one two three and then there is an ester branch and this ester branch is connected from the c side okay but here if you see the principal functional group is this in this molecule the principal functional group is this the carbon number one two three and then there is a branch this is also an ester branch but this is connected from the o side so ester can join as branch from two sides from c side or from o side let's try to name this one first when the ester has been joined from the c side so this is your principal functional group and uh, this is your main carbon chain one two three and then this is the branch you can very easily get the name of the branch if you start start from this end and you proceed naming the parts one by one so you see first there is an ethyl part and then there is an oxy part okay this is very interesting oxy we also use oxy in organic nomenclature for this kind of oxygen we use oxy if it's a double bonded oxygen we use an oxo okay so next here you have a double bonded oxygen but then there is a carbon also left out here so you will have to include that carbon so don't use an oxo there it's not required right now you will have to use carbonyl here carbonyl because it's a carbonyl group so ethyl oxy and carbonyl not oxy. we will not be using oxo here because it will be used only if the oxygen is left out but the carbon is also left out but anyways before you see before i go to carbonyl you can see ethyl and oxy can be combined together and you can get an ethoxy and then this is carbonyl and then you get the name of the whole branch ethoxy carbonyl right so this is a uh, one of the ways you can write the prefix alkoxy carbonyl in this format you can write the name of the ester branch but it should be connected from the c side because you can see alkoxy first and then carbonyl and then comes the uh, its connection to the main chain so this is one of the the prefixes for ester and uh, hence here the name would become 3 ethoxy carbonyl propanoic acid right so one by one i have written and then you can combine the name together this is uh, first this is your branch and then you have root word and then this is suffix one there is no unsaturation in the main chain so this is by default ane and then oic acid and then you can drop this e here so because two vowels are coming to get together and then you can get three ethoxy carbonyl propanoic acid okay let's proceed to the next example in which we will have an ester joined from the o side as you can see this is the principal functional group this is the main chain one two three and this is the branch how about this so we know this is ethyl this is carbonyl and this one is oxo but can you combine these two this is interesting can you combine these if you combine these you can use ethyl carbonyl as like it that's not like combining because you are not shortening anything here but you can if you see ethyl carbonyl ethyl carb can become like one more carbon with ethyl you can have prop you can say this is proponyl propanoid propanoid to be more exact propanoid right this is a propanoid branch so you don't have to write now ethyl carbonyl you can use a propanoid and this is oxy so both of them will work here you can use propanoid oxy or you can also use ethyl carbonyl oxy but this one i would uh, prefer more than the ethyl carbonyl oxy because this is more shortened propanoid oxy then the name becomes 3 propanoid oxy propanoic acid so another way you can name the branch of ester is you are using an alkanoyl oxy or maybe you are using alkyl carbonyl oxy but that's fine all of these parts they refer to something they are not picked up at random they refer to something in the molecule okay now let's uh, so alkanoyl groups right this is important they are also called acyl group their common name is acyl group alkanoyl groups can be called acyl group very commonly in uh, your textbooks for example i have the simplest alkanoyl group wait a minute yeah here 
and then one more carbon and then one more carbon like this so this group here what would you call it you can call it hydrogen carbonyl which is too long then you can shorten it as methanol but then it's common name once again for my is very commonly used and you might also remember in the aldehyde when we were naming the aldehyde as a branch if the aldehyde group is to be accounted with the carbon and the hydrogen and the oxygen then you use formyl right so this formyl is also used as a prefix for cho in iupac nomenclature and this is a common term also formyl for example if somebody is saying uh, formyl chloride somebody is using formyl chloride the word then it will refer to you have a formyl and then a chlorine here formyl chloride this is a common name of methanol chloride anyways so formyl will be more very commonly seen in uh, organic chemistry and then the second one also is very interesting the second one is also very common in organic chemistry and uh, this you can say methyl carbonyl but this is way too long you can shorten it up methyl carbonyl you can write ethanol ethanol yes it can be used but then people who have experience in uh, organic chemistry they, have, they know many molecules and they know the common names they will know that this will be called acetyl this is an acetyl group another common name here which is very famous in organic chemistry acetyl for the third one now you have ethyl carbonyl you can shorten it up as propanoyl there's no common name here but this one acetyl is very common because you remember acetic acid so a uh, acetic acid where is this what is this acid acetyl uh, this is this is referring towards acetyl group and ACOH also sometimes you see in some books carbo uh, this is uh, written as the acetic acid is written as ACOH so what is this AC this is acetyl group CH3CO and then there is an OH this is an acetyl group which can be called ethanol also right so this is an alkanoyl group ethanolia yeah, or acetyl very commonly used acetyl this ac represents the acetyl group okay now let's uh, practice a little bit uh, there is a molecule which is uh, called aspirin this molecule is aspirin molecule it's used as uh, an analgesic and antipyretic to treat fever and then if you have to name this you can see already that there are uh, this functional group which is more important principal functional group and the ester is a branch from the o side okay so let's try to name it then you have first this acid this whole acid is benzoic acid it's another common name benzoic acid and at the second carbon of benzoic acid from this is carbon number one and this is carbon number two you can number the benzoic acid from this carbon one two at the second carbon of the benzoic acid you have an ester branch and how would you name this ester branch so you can write methyl then carbonyl and oxy so you have first two methyl carbonyl oxy benzoic acid that's too long you can shorten it up you can write two ethanyl oxy benzoic acid that's a uh, very formal you can use a common um, prefix uh, here acetyl for this this whole part is acetyl so you can say this is two acetyl oxy benzoic acid or, and, and you can maybe shorten more acetyl oxy how about acetoxy <laughs> acetoxy so we are still maintaining the structure of the molecule but we are shortening in uh, all possible all, all possible ways when we are writing nomin uh, names of the molecules and this is uh, just an art if uh, there's no like proper rules behind it so you will see that this will be this can be referred to as this molecule as 2 acetoxy benzoic acid okay now let's uh, try to write it in another way because you can see for aspirin molecule there is another name that will be understood if you see that the branch is only this acetyl branch and the acid is complete uh, salicylic acid this is salicylic acid right so you see at the oxygen of the salicylic acid here there is a substituent which is acetyl group so one can also name this thing as this as a branch at O so you can see that O acetyl salicylic acid can also be used as a name for aspirin molecule aspirin is the most common name so it, this is 
टू एसिड ऑक्सी बेंजोइक एसिड और ओ एसिडाइल सैलिसाइलिक एसिड बोथ ऑफ देम कैन बी यूज एज इट्स नेम थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द डिस्टिंगशन एंड आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ नेमिंग वर्क थैंक यू